Hello guys and welcome to another video from Time of Business. I'm George and today we are going to discuss about free SEO tools, so keywords tool that you can use today in order to improve your SEO rankings, your SEO and to actually get more sales, more traffic on your Etsy store. I know that many of you are new to SEO and that is why I suggest that in the beginning you do not pay for any app, so do not subscribe to any apps that give you keywords, but instead learn how to do proper SEO. And I'm going to show you a few free tools that you can use in order to find keywords and to improve the SEO of your Etsy listings. So if that sounds interesting, guys, make sure to stick until the end of the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more Etsy based content, and also check out our website timeofbusiness.com because we have a bunch of blog posts for Etsy sellers just like you. So without any further ado guys, I'm going to jump on my computer and I'm going to show you those free tools. So guys, we just jumped on our computer. Uh, today I'm going to optimize a listing, for example, where I sell a women's gold necklace. So let's say this is my product and I want to find other keywords that are useful for my product. So let's say if I were to search on uh, Etsy, I already have a few alternatives that are suggested by Etsy. As you can see here, I have a few search volumes, so monthly search volumes that are suggested by Everbee. I'm going to also talk about this later. This is a paid uh, tool that is very useful if you want to optimize your listings, if you want to research your competitors, find keywords. So it is very useful in case you want to grow on Etsy and want to have a tool in order to use specifically for Etsy. Now I'm going to leave a link to everything that I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to show you a few free tools and also ever be. So we have the women's gold necklace. Now the first free tool that you are going to find on the internet and maybe the most useful one is Google Keyword Planner. So you can log in with your Google account. You do not need to have a, an ad account. As you can see, I also have this uh, account that doesn't have any ads that are running. So this is an inactive account. And as you can see here, I introduced a few keywords and I have my women's gold necklace, a few other uh, basic keywords that I came up with. So I'm going to click on get results. And as you can see right here, I have the targeted country, United States and the language English. You can use other uh, languages or target other countries, the European Union, Africa, Asia, Australia, United Kingdom, any country or language that you want. As you can see, we have our uh, search volumes right here. So you can see between 10,000 and 100,000 for women's gold necklace. I can um, group them by search volume. So as you can see, men's wedding bands. So it's going to give you even more keywords based on what you introduced within the same spectrum. So we have women's gold necklace, as you can see, wedding jewelry, Etsy jewelry. Then I have wedding bands for women and so on. And as you can see, we can also see the competition. So all of these high volume searched keywords are very competitive. Then you can also go on competition here and select uh, either by high or to go the other way around. And I can actually see uh, keywords that are less searched for, for example, Etsy jewelry, engagement rings. So you can keep on scrolling. You can also go and find keywords that instead of high have uh, medium or low uh, search volumes competition. So you can go page by page and see uh, keywords that have smaller volumes, maybe something that is related to your um, keywords and as you can see you have hundreds of keywords to choose from and to get ideas from. So as you can see 10k gold small hoop earrings, pretty dangle earrings. If you only want to have uh, a necklace uh, optimized you are going to introduce here only keywords that have necklace but these uh, are all related to jewelry. So in case your shop sells jewelry you are going to search for more types of jewelry. If you sell wall art prints, you are going to type in wall art prints, digital art, printable art, and so on in order to get those first keywords and give Google an idea of what you are looking for. Once again, keep in mind that this is from Google. It is free and maybe one of the best tools in order to actually find keywords. Then we have WordStream, which is another free keyword tool. 
as you can see I have here keywords or websites so I introduced women's gold necklace just my keyword and the United States and as you can see right here I have once again search volumes and the competition and as you can see I have hundreds so 500 keywords that I can uh, look at so I have cross gold pendant for women gold chain necklace for women maybe you can use chain necklace for women crucifix necklace cross chain female gold cross necklace so if you want to get even more keywords you can download them you need to introduce your email and they are going to send them to you so another easy way and free way to find keywords then something that you need to take into consideration is that you can actually use Etsy uh, search engine and Google search engine by default so if I were to type in necklace as you can see it already suggests me uh, for women so I can go and introduce that as you can see then Etsy suggests that I use boho, gold, dainty, silver so this is another free and easy way in order to find new keywords by actually typing in your uh, main keyword so let's say earrings and as you can see Etsy already suggests set so earring set for multiple piercings and so on then you can also go to Google and do the same thing so let's say gold necklace once again I have set with name 24k cross Tiffany chain let's go with chain and then if I were to uh, click once again as you can see it suggests me once again other keywords as well so these are the free tools that you can actually use in order to find keywords once again use uh, Etsy search Google search then you have Google Keyword Planner then you also have WordStream those are free and then you have uh, Everbee so an app that actually um, can be used for your uh, Etsy account you can even connect your Etsy shop as you can see right here and something very cool about Everbee is that for example let's see a top selling product on Etsy we have this product by Caitlin Minimalist which is the biggest Etsy store of all time then I can go here and I can look at uh, keyword research or product analysis and if I click on product analysis as you can see right here uh, Everbee is going to show me a bunch of information about this product so I'm going to see how many sales they get per month uh, an average um, monthly revenue how old the item is the reviews and also their keywords as you can see right here I can already see the volume that each keyword has per month the competition so how many products on Etsy actually have personalized gifts so over 6 million that would be useless if you had a new Etsy store but then you can already see right here at the bottom so they have Caitlin Minimalist which is their brand and people actually search for that so this is a good keyword but not useful for us but then we have letter necklace so for example I found a good keyword that has a decent amount of searches per month and then it has let's say somehow low competition so only 100,000 results so that is why this uh, keyword has a score so a keyword score of 50 and I can even click on it and then uh, it was copied and then I can go within the app and research for more keywords so for example this is the app you can go and research for products for keywords and you can look at the top stores what they sell how many sales they have in total the monthly revenue so this is a great tool in order to find new products trending products to look at other keywords and also as you can see here we have the keyword research so we are going to type in women's gold necklace as you can see right here and I'm going to find uh, all those related keywords you are also going to find some spelling mistakes don't use those but as you can see women's necklace jewelry gold necklaces we are going to also have gold necklace name and here you are going to find the score so the higher the score the better it is to use it now if you want to grow on Etsy if you want to learn more about how to optimize your product how to learn about SEO uh, titles tags descriptions maybe even open a Shopify store in the future make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a bunch of videos for you to watch and learn and also check out our website timeofbusiness.com we have a free 
ultimate guide on a successful start on Etsy. So this is a great uh, ebook for you to grab for free in order to learn more about Etsy, to see your basic things that you need to do in order to start on Etsy. We also have a bunch of Etsy blog posts where you can actually go and read. Everything is for free on how to improve your titles, tags, how to improve your product photography, your sales, your traffic, social media. So make sure to check it out. Once again, link in the description below for everything that you have seen. So guys, that was the video. You now know how to optimize your Etsy listings for free. So you know a little bit more about SEO. And if you want to grow even more on Etsy to learn even more, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video, let me know in the comments below if you want to learn about anything else, maybe something specific. I'm going to read those comments and maybe make another video about it. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video, and I'm going to see you guys on the next video.